Hi everyone, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make leads like the ones in the track Rocket by Subfocus but it's the Wilkinson remix. So this is the original track. <laughs> And this is the lead that we're going to be making. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dnbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so the sound is actually separated into three layers. We have a main saw wave layer. Then we have the actual formant type layer. That one. And that one. We're only going to be focusing on this one in terms of the uh, formant ones, and I'll show you how to quickly just vary it so it changes into this one. And we're going to start with the simplest one, which is this one. Cool. So let's just get started. So these are the notes that we're going to be playing. You can follow them if you want to follow along with the video. So now let's jump into Serum. So this layer is actually going to be very, very, very simple. We're just going to use Icon Hess Kick. Lots of unison. A sine wave. We're going to use mono, legato, set it on always, and then keep a consistent speed of 75. Cool. Let's add a saw wave. And now we're going to add a band reject filter, which is going to become very, very relevant uh, later in the video. Let's route the B and key track it. Now let's bring the curve down. As you can hear, very interesting layer. Cool. Now for the effects, we're just going to distort this whole thing, add chorus and add multiband compression. Let's reduce the sub all the way down here. So that's the saw if layer that is going to go on top of everything else. So now let's jump into the main formant layer. Okay, so the main formant layer is actually going to be very, very, very similar to the other one. It even shares the same effects except for the reverb. And the thing that is going to change is that now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding an LFO into the fine tuning of both those layers. Let me just get rid of this. With this on the fine tuning, we have kind of a vibrato effect here. Cool. And then we're just going to have this uh, down one octave. And instead of a saw wave, we have a square wave. So here is the main thing. The main thing is the band reject being modulated here by this filter that does that wah, wah. And we have the resonance all the way up. As you can see, this is the main formant. Of the sound. So it's just the other uh, main saw layer. So if you have a lead like this, or if you want to make a lead like this, you can just use your regular layer, like your saw with layer, add a band rigid filter, boost the resonance a lot, and then have an LFO that goes into the cutoff. And then modulate it this way. Um, and that's that really that's it. That's the whole trick behind the sound. If you want to transform it into the other layer, just bring it slightly up and change the octaves and things like that. And 
and then just layer everything and you get the lead. So yeah, that's how you make leads like the ones in the track rocket by Subfocus, but the Wilkinson remix. If you liked the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.